Hey everybody, Bill Sack here, your favorite attorney with the Firearms Policy Coalition legal team. This past Wednesday, the United States Supreme Court heard oral arguments in the case of New York State Rifle Pistol Association v. Bruin, the most important Second Amendment case to come before the court in over a decade. The lawsuit is a challenge to New York's proper cause requirement and their May issue scheme for the issuance of licenses to carry firearms in public. So why is this case such a big deal? What's it actually about? And what happens now? Well, the case is a big deal because it could not only help restore the right to carry firearms in hostile states like New Jersey, California, Hawaii, and Maryland, in addition to New York, but also provide key instructions on the proper test that lower courts must then use in evaluating all other Second Amendment claims. FPC filed an important brief in this case, joined by preeminent Second Amendment scholar and Antonin Scalia Law School professor Joyce Lee Malcolm, and authored by former Texas Solicitor General and Supreme Court practitioner Scott A. Keller. You can read that brief in its entirety at fpclegal.org. In July, FPC filed our merit stage brief, opposing New York's May issue scheme, arguing that the English right to, to have and use arms at the time of the American founding included the right to carry weapons outside the home for self-preservation and defense. As our brief shows, the Second Amendment unquestionably protects the right to bear arms outside of the home. And since the Supreme Court's 2008 D.C. v. Heller decision, many courts have improperly applied interest balancing tests like intermediate scrutiny, and some have gone even further in watering down the right to keep and bear arms, or they've ignored it completely. In fact, in a fiery dissent from the court's denial of cert and a challenge to California's 10-day waiting period, Justice Clarence Thomas said that the Ninth Circuit had applied nothing more than rational basis review, the lowest form of constitutional scrutiny. And that, while the Ninth Circuit claimed to be applying intermediate scrutiny, its actual analysis did not resemble anything approaching that higher standard. The court's decision will likely be announced next spring, before the current Supreme Court term ends on June 30th, 2022. Decisions in major cases like this one are typically announced in June. If the court ultimately holds that New York's carry license laws are unconstitutional, and instructs lower courts to apply the court's categorical approach laid out in Heller, many unconstitutional laws will be ripe for challenge. FPC Law, the nation's largest public interest legal team focused on the right to keep and bear arms, has already filed dozens of challenges to federal, state, and local gun control laws, and we're working to file dozens more in the coming months in anticipation of the court's decision. To support your FPC legal team in this important fight, please head over to fpclegal.org. I'm Bill Sack, your favorite attorney with the Firearms Policy Coalition legal team.